Have you wondered how we discovered viruses? Oh, well, welcome to Science in a Snap, the series where I explain science as fast as I can. Today's topic is how scientists discovered viruses, those tiny troublemakers hiding in plain sight. Back in the late 1800s, scientists knew about bacteria and that it caused certain diseases, thanks to pioneers like Robert Koch. But there were still diseases they couldn't explain, like the tobacco mosaic disease. This made plants sick with weird patchy leaves. A scientist named Dmitry Ivnosky decided to investigate. He took sap from a sick tobacco plant and passed it through a fine filter designed to trap bacteria. That filter liquid still made the healthy plant sick though. Weird, right? Then in 1898, Martinus Virginik repeated the experiment and had a wild idea. Whatever was causing the disease must be smaller than bacteria. He called it a contagious living fluid. This was the first clue that viruses existed, but nobody could actually see them yet. It wasn't until the 1930s when scientists invented the electron microscope that we finally got a look at viruses. And guess what? They weren't fluids. They were tiny particles made up of genetic material wrapped in a protein coat. This discovery of viruses completely changed how we understand and fight disease, from polio to the flu to COVID-19. It's also why things like filters, hand washing, vaccines, etc., are key. They can block and help with even the tiniest invaders. So the next time you feel sick, remember, not all germs are created equal, and viruses were sneaky enough to stay hidden for centuries. Follow for more and drop questions in the comments.